another one of them automated survey bird that bops out in the ash heap. Those things are great for salvage, but you'll need to hit it hard and fast if you're gonna knock it down. The noise also tends to attract unwanted attention, so watch your backs. Good luck. Try not to get killed. So we've got this fly swatter event that's shown up here. Uh, we've done it before. Um, and uh, you can see that um, as I've reloaded the game, all of these um, blood eagles are back. So we need to take them down. But uh, we may as well go ahead and shoot this thing while we're here. There it goes. Kablooey. It's a pretty easy event. <laughs> <laughs> lands on top of the hill over there. So the last episode we uh, heard a broadcast about uh, this Beckett guy who uh, is being held captive by the uh, Blood Eagles over here. So we rescued him. He is uh, free now, but uh, he asked us to retrieve his belongings. Uh, while Beckett's busy distracting the Blood Eagles, he's asked me to retrieve his belongings from the Sludge Works. Sludge Works well, my map isn't going to tell me where that is, so I don't know where Sludge Works is. Um, so that kind of sucks. I have to wait and see. Hopefully, as the game talks to the server, um, it will tell me where stuff is. And it might be actually in this direction over here. Okay, Beckett's belongings is going to be down here. So we could go ahead and head on down here and uh, clear out his belongings. Although I must say that uh, I kind of rushed out of um, this... Uh, Blood Eagle camp in the last episode. Didn't really explore it all that much. So, I mean, I guess we could head back over here. Um, it sucks that it looks like the place is repopulated with Blood Eagle since the last time I was here, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, I do want to kind of explore it. We did find one uh, holotape that had some interesting information on it, something about somebody who sent them here and was maybe trying to sabotage them or ambush them or something like that. Oh well, look at this guy, Blood Eagle Bruiser. So maybe... Maybe these guys are dead still. Don't know what that's supposed to be. But uh, let's go down here and just kind of explore this place a little bit. See if there's anything interesting here at this Blood Eagle camp. There ain't nothing good out here. <laughs> nothing nowhere. It's all shit. So, we've got blood eagles walking about down here. Just kind of a bummer, man. Stupid blood eagles. But that's okay. We can take care of them. Although there were an awful lot of them last time. So some of them are dead and... I don't know if these ones that I hear walking around are ones that I just missed I last time. Boss. I really should. Sounds like I hear more than one walking around. Yeah. How am I still alive? I'm gonna do it. You flex your turn, I swear. I always feel a little bit bad. They're like, how am I still alive? Oh, now you're dead. Now you're dead. You're not alive anymore. You're now dead. Uh, a toolbox. I don't know, man. We're not gonna find anything interesting in these things, are we? Somebody else is still walking around. I hear you, dude. Those noisy shoes you've got. I'll take the oil can. I don't know why. I just will, okay? Looks like a little looks like a little storage area in here. Now this safe I will go ahead and unlock. There might be something interesting in it. So let me swap out here. Take off concentrated fire, add pick lock and master pick lock. And we'll unlock this safe real quick. Ah, duck on it. Um, meh. Nothing that terribly interesting.
Don't don't want anything you've got. Oh, neat. Got, a, got themselves a pool table up here. Maybe I do want to join the Blood Eagles. Nah, I don't. I'm just kidding. I don't want to join the Blood Eagles. They suck. And so this Beckett guy that we just rescued, he was a member of the Blood Eagles, so I'm not sure how I feel about this guy. Oh, actually, I am sure. I don't like him. He did leave. I mean, I guess I gotta give him some credit. At least he finally came to his senses and left, but... To join the Blood Eagles in the first place? What the hell, dude? That's disgusting. The joining the Blood Eagles is disgusting, and what we just saw in here is disgusting. It's all disgusting. So I thought I heard somebody still walking around over here. Yep, sure enough. Not anymore. His walking days are over. What's this place over here? It's like a little shop set up here. A rabbit. And, um... A chicken. A little cash register here. It's kind of a mess. Okay. Another body. Okay, we walked over here before. Um... Yeah, I don't think I looked in here. Huh, got a cute little... vase there. Bunch of weights. Ooh. I can't take these? Normally these have, what, lead in them? That's weird that I can't take them. Huh. Strange. I was actually going to pick them up for the lead. Oh, this guy's still alive. Hey, good morning. Time up and gag him. What was that? <laughs> Jumps up and says, time up and gag him. And then I shot him in the belly. He slept through the whole thing. See what's up here. A oh, little magazine rack there. No magazines on it though. Ooh, you got some stuff on you. A few things. All right. And I think there's one more level of this place for us to check out. <laughs> like the thought of these insane killers still wanting to put up wind chimes. Oh, there's Beckett's jail cell key again. We don't need that again. Okay, there you go. There's the place. Blood Eagle Camp. Thoroughly explored. Let's go to this um, sludge hole. And it looks like it's going to be a new uh, Blood Eagle Camp. You can see on my compass down there, there is um, an, an outlined icon, not a filled-in icon. So... Sludge Hole is yet another Blood Eagle camp. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one just because I'm down here. I don't know when I'll be down here again. But, uh, that's why we're going to go ahead and do it. Coal? I don't know. What do I need coal for? I don't even know. Surprised I haven't had any message about the air quality down here and then I would need some kind of face protection I mean I'm not wearing any face protection I really don't think that my cute little hard hat is doing anything but the game isn't complaining so I'm not gonna worry about it Let's 
So the quest we're doing is called Narrow Escape. While Beckett's busy distracting the Blood Eagles, he's asked me to retrieve his belongings from the Sludge Works. That's what we're doing down here. Looks like somebody had a little camp set up here. Somebody who wanted to work. Pardon me, coming through. Mm. Jobs. This could be the camp here. We're gonna sneak up on it. Yeah, this is the camp. Oh, playing the guitar. Or banjo, it's not a guitar. I know, I know that. I'm gonna walk over this way, this little place here has me a little intrigued. Oh. Oh. Oh, what are you doing here, Scorch? Go away. I've got cutthroats to deal with. Maybe I should just back up and let the Scorch run in. Oh, hi! Let the uh, Scorch deal with the up there are the blood eagles. <laughs> Alarm goes off. Dude keeps playing the banjo. Spot that. Was the spotter playing the banjo? Maybe he was. I think a dog's gonna come up here in a second. Be smart enough to go up these steps. Oh, hi. Ooh, this guy's got a fun sounding weapon. Ooh, so does he. Uh, he's, um. This guy's serious, man. He's been joking around. Reload. Come on, reload. That was pretty cool. Gosh, still says danger. Beckett's things are way over there. How I know that, I don't know. Still says danger. Who's eyeballing me? Doesn't help that I got my freaking light on. Jeez, no wonder they saw me. Didn't even think about that. Caution. <laughs> Pretty good at the old banjo there. Discovered the sludge works. Airplane seats here. Kind of like the musical accompaniment. Oh, I'm in. Oh, crap. Oh, hell. Oh, jeez. I think I've just trapped myself. <laughs> I think I have, man. Ooh. Marsupial mutation to the rescue. Actually, feel a little bad. <laughs> he was able to finish the tune as <laughs> his head blew off. The sludge works. Oh, hey. <laughs> Just comes jogging over here. Hey, look, dead people. Let's run over there. Got ourselves a Tinker's workbench over here. And apparently somebody else sees me. Caution again. Or at least they've heard me. Where are you, dude? 
Oh, there he is. Uh, dumbass storage. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look. Uh, bobblehead energy weapons. Dumbass storage. That's funny. More weights. Oh, these. Oh, these I can pick up. Okay. Whoa. Look at this. I'm gonna pick these up and then scrap them right here. Here, here, real quick. So I'm at uh, 351, and then when I scrap all my junk, I'm at 254. That's a major difference. But the good thing is, is that now I'm uh, carrying a bunch of lead. I don't know where it puts lead, but I have a bunch of lead. Lead scrap. So that's good. Need some lead scrap for ammo creation. Wind chimes. Blood eagles like wind chimes, apparently. We've got an armor workbench. How's my armor looking? Do I need to repair it at all? I guess not too many things hit me. Because I don't need to repair my armor all that frequently. Sludge bar over there. Huh, somebody went through the trouble of painting their little symbol there. That's kind of cool front door they don't have a sign up here though stop sign so there's his stuff so I wonder if when I retrieve his stuff if they're gonna be a bunch of enemies that appear from nowhere sludge bar menu let's check it out man let's see what's available sludge bar menu all sludge by the quart Sticky Sludge, $15. Melty Sludge, $17. Gooey Sludge, $12. Sweet Sludge, $19. Chunky Sludge, $14. Hard Sludge, $5. Surprise Sludge, $21. Extra Chunky Sludge, $13. Scoop Your Own Sludge, $13. Man, the one that I would like, the Sweet Sludge, is the most expensive one, of course. <sighs> Figures. That's the only one that sounded somewhat good to me. The the chunky sludge one kind of made me throw up in my mouth a little bit. It sounded disgusting. I guess we're not going to find any sludge recipes in here. Who knows what the sludge is or how it's made. We'll never know. I bet it smells really good here. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> What's going on over here? It's radio jammer? I don't know. Plasma cartridge? I don't know if I want that or not. Pistol. Bunch of crap. Dead guy. Uh, catching some fish, I guess. Oh, heck, that's more than just airplane seats. That's like a whole section of the airplane fuselage right there. <laughs> I don't think I looked in here yet. Ooh, no mail. Using the hallucinogen gas canister as a nightlight, it looks like. 
All right, let's get this guy's stuff, man. Well, we've got a safe here. I guess I'll, I guess I'll pick it. Oh, darn it. Hmm, got some rounds that I'm interested in. And uh, over here is a note. You're the dumbass. Bill, your sign is clever and everything, but you left the floor out. You can make everything else, but you can't make a floor. Propping it up on cinder blocks was the smart, was the smart. But how can we exact punishment if cur prisoners can just slide underneath and run away at a floor, Brit? Okay. And here's Beckett's belongings. We've now retrieved them. Crafting item unlocked, Beckett's bar. Oh gosh, I gotta put a stupid bar in my camp now. I don't want a bar in my camp. But I guess each of our um, little followers, allies, are gonna request something be built. Like, Sophia wanted us to build that console for her. Let me see how my weapon's doing. This, yeah, needs to be repaired all right. Um, let's see here. I keep being told of some perk I should equip before I do this. Uh, but crap, I didn't write it down. I don't remember what it is. But there's some perk that will allow me to repair my weapon um, more. 200% or something like that. But crap, I don't remember what it was, man. Um, I don't even know if I have the, the perk card or not. Shoot. Um, yeah, well, whatever. I'll, I'll try to remember to make a note of it. Repair. There we go. Well, we got Beckett's stuff. Let's see what the quest says now. Beckett has asked me to utilize his plans to construct a bar at my camp. Okay, so there we go. Well, next time I'm at my camp, I'll do that. Uh, now, um, let's take a look at the map and see where we are. We're way down here. We need to go over here to investigate the crew's signal. And we're pretty close to that, so let's head in that direction. We'll just kind of jog on over here. This is a quest for Sophia. See if we can't find any evidence of her crew, whether they survived or not. See you later, sludge hole. Um, interesting looking signal towers. Who's shooting? Ooh. What was that? Huh. We got a liberator over here. We got a brood mother. Battle of the century going on over there. We'll just leave them to it. Somebody left their crane there. Billboard down there.
Oh, there's the little town of Welch down there, and we've got a bunch of mole miners down here. Well, got their attention. They're kind of far away. Put vats on them. Come down here. Oh, he sounds upset. He's not happy. Still says caution. Is that a big old flag there? It is, isn't it? What do you got? Anything good? Get a little bit of that suit scrap. Black titanium. Big old flag here. Another dead mole miner. Another one here. Don't want any of your stuff, though. Alright, let's keep moving. Looks like uh, a raider survivalist down here. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Oh, wait a minute. That one is friendly, but this one isn't. Look at that. That doesn't make any sense. Are they going to shoot me, or... What's going on? Let's see if we can talk to this guy. Looks like a big dude. You want to survive? You do what you gotta do. Yeah. You know, we were fine and all before you showed up, but... Uh. Still, you ain't a bad shot. I'll remember that. It comes in handy. Weird. Okay. Keep mole rats as pets. Weird. I tell you what, this guy's pretty cool looking. I'll give him that. Uh, I gotta limber up before the next firefight. <laughs> uh, I think I pulled a hammy. <laughs> okay, dude. Nice talking to you. So yeah, if we look at our reputation with those guys, um, they're still cautious, and we moved from whatever was before cautious. So was it hostile to cautious? And we're just getting started on cautious. So oddly enough, our reputation with the settlers and the raiders is the same right now. Hey, back's a bitch. Got another banjo player down here. Over there at the uh, train station. Who is that? Who's who is that? Who's just over here playing the banjo? Let's go talk to him. It's Dylan Rhodes. Hey, Dylan. What's up, man? Hi, Dylan. If you need something, ask the robot inside. Well, who are you? Can you make it quick? I got better things to do than talk to you. I don't know. I'm pretty interesting. Um, I just have some questions. If I answer them, will that get you to leave me alone? Maybe. Um, well, what is this place? Well, can't you see? We're in the graveyard that is the town of Welch. Except this town started dying way back before the bombs fell. Thanks to those damn robots taking our jobs and ruining the economy. To make matters worse, AMS came in acting like they owned the place when some ultra site popped up in Welch. They wanted to take away people's homes. All the man cared about was making a quick buck. Didn't care at all about anything else. Some good those bucks did them in the end, huh? Hmm. Yeah, so, um, what is Ultrasight? Some sort of radioactive material that none of us should be messing with, if you ask me. I don't trust the stuff. Don't we have enough problems with radiation as it is? I love that battle that's taking place in the background. Who's AMS? Atomic Mining Services. Revolutionaries of the mining industry. Wrecker of jobs everywhere in Appalachia. Somehow those idiots thought it would be a good idea to use nuclear bombs to dig deeper into mines. I'd really rather not talk about them much more. Fair enough. Let's talk about something else. Or we could not. Mm, would you mind telling me about yourself, sir? 
I do mind, in fact. But if it'll get you to leave me be, I suppose I could tell you a little bit. The name's Dylan. I was a miner here in Welch before the robots stole our jobs. I was born in this town, and I'd like to die in this town. Even though the work was harder, honest sweat is better than those bucket of bolts. It taught kids character. Now look where we are. People are out here killing each other over damn junk like sugar bombs just to survive. Times are tough, man. Um, so what do you plan on doing with the time you have left? Can't you see I'm retired? So it's time to live the retired life. I'm just gonna relax right here, drink some whiskey, and wait for the end. I don't know, man. I think I'd try to find someplace else. Why aren't you more friendly? Look around you, kid. What part of this world we're living in makes you think someone should be upbeat and happy? Everyone I ever loved and cared about is dead. Even the town I lived most of my years in is gone. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's talk about something else. Can you hurry it up? I'm trying, man. That's all. For now. How about forever? Fine. Good luck. Have fun living out here in this crappy place. Isn't there a bench around here? I was gonna do a quick scrap. You again? Ooh, do some legendary exchange. Get rid of more of this crap I don't want. This junkie's power fist. Get rid of this. Mutant Slayer's radium rifle. See you later. And then my favorite weapon. Don't want to get rid of that, obviously. 966 script. So I'm Why hoping... Are you back here? Shut up. I'm hoping that at some point um, they'll have another one of those weekends where uh, Murmurg offers more for your for your script, you know? Uh, so I'm kind of... I don't know. I'd kind of like to wait for that before I start exchanging script, but I do have an awful lot of it. Okay. There we go. Lighten my load a little bit. Uh, so let's go in this direction. But uh, we got some jerks to take care of here first. Oh my. <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. The sound of that missile coming up here. Here comes another one. It goes right over my head. Die already. Jeez. <laughs> That's cool, man. Oh, these guys mean business. Ouch. Stop it. It's starting to hurt a little bit. It's starting to hurt my feelings. Come on. I have to do some work here. Oh, these guys mean business. Who else we got? Anyone? Still says danger. Coming down the hill. Still says danger. This guy. Come on. Come out and fight me. Come on. I had enough of you. Come on. Jerk. Fine, I'm coming to get you. Need to go over here anyway. Did I get him? I didn't think I got him. Well, maybe I did. Okay, well I'm looking for something... Oh, I didn't want the cigar. I wanted to ring the bell. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, gone. Here's a stupid safe to unlock. Oh, there's something up here, maybe. Another uh, mole miner walking around in here. Gotcha, sucker. Is that Dylan up there playing the banjo again? 
This dot I see on my compass might be him. Well, we got another mole miner walking around here. Yeah. You're welcome, Dylan. What am I looking for? I'm supposed to be investigating a signal. Do I need to look at something on my radio? No, it doesn't look like it. They have the breather in here. Ooh. A terminal? That's interesting. Now, before I put my nose in that terminal, let's see if we can't get rid of this mole miner right here walking about. Where is this guy? I'd like to shut him up. Dude, there's a note over here, it looks like. Uh, a recipe. That's interesting, that recipe looks different than other ones we've seen. Normally they've got like a blue cover to them. Well, let's go up and look at this terminal. I don't know if this is new, if this is what I'm looking for, or what. But we're gonna take a look at it. Hmm. I don't know if this is it or not. Laura gone. Yeah, I don't know if these are new or not. Always seek the truth, JHP. Laura has been gone on a supply run for over five days. This has never happened before. I've tried to work up the courage to make my way down the stairs, but what good would that do? Where could I even go? I'm thankful for the whiskey I had stashed away, but there's no food up here. Please be safe, Laura. Day 12. I'm starting to see things. People. I watched our wedding ceremony play out right here in the study. I keep experiencing visitors walking up the stairs. Mike, Glenn, Scoot, Jerry, Cal, Andrew, Sean, Artie. Ran out of whiskey. Shared the last glass with a sheep squatch to bury the hatchet. I always knew it wasn't personal. I just got too close. I hear Laura humming downstairs. That means she's cooking. Smells delicious. Day 16. I had another visitor. Felt so real, his face was wrapped in bandages, but I knew that voice. Didn't think I'd see him so soon. Figured he already left town. Again. He brought another bottle from downstairs. Very thoughtful. No food, though. He told me Laura isn't down there. I told him I know. Saw Grandma later that night, too. Day 19. Clear thoughts, if only for a moment. I never could tell them it was real. I didn't want them to end up like me, or worse. What's the point of what's the point in finding out the truth? What did it get me? What did it prove? Why couldn't I just leave well enough alone? If I could still walk, if I never saw that damn thing, I'd be out there with Laura. We'd be surviving together. Laura, I'm sorry. Please make it home safe. Why do I feel so cold now? Day 21. Seeing more and more visitors, feeling weaker and weaker too. I should crack open that last bottle and call it a night. I love you, Laura. Well, that was sad. I don't remember reading that from before. So, I don't know if that's new or if it's just something I missed in my previous playthrough. Still looking for cruise signal. Not sure exactly what it is I'm looking for. I don't know if I'm looking for a radio tower or what. Oh gosh, man, there's so many of these things around here. Jeez, stupid things. Here's a uh, remains of a protectron or something. What am I looking for? I just don't know, man. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm out of the circle now. I th oh, no, 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 I found it. Here it is. Here we are. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, a wreckage. Somebody's walking around. Whoops. Uh... Some scrap, fuses, vacuum tubes, power relay, coil, blah, blah, blah. Item for al ally. <laughs> Item for ally. I keep calling her Allie because, I don't know, I just... It's stupid. 
Okay. Hope remains. Inform Commander Daguerre. Informer of what? This isn't going to tell me anything, is it? It just says, I'm helping a friend staying at my camp. That's all it says. Well, we uh, found what we came here to find. So I'm thinking we just fast travel back to our camp. Don't think I need to uh, make that walk back. Since we made it on our way here. I guess that's old Dylan up there. Playing the banjo. All these uh, robots here. Left over from the whole they took our jobs war. I imagine. Oh, I didn't want the bourbon. I don't know why I took that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's telling me to inform Commander Daguerre uh, back at my camp. So I had talked about going here, visiting the purveyor. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just do that while we're kind of here. And I'm going to turn this one off so I have the right thing marked. We're going to go this way. Let's do this, man. I had mentioned that I would like to wait until there was another one of those weekends but um kind of in the neighborhood we may as well go ahead and stop by and see what there is to see over here i'd like to get me a weapon that would be good for like crowd control kind of or up close and personal control um this weapon i've got now is a fantastic stealth weapon Got to be one of the best, but once enemies are aware of me, there it is, suffering damage and risking toxic, toxic something or other. Um, yeah, I can't put on those things that I pick up from um, the uh, mole miners, unfortunately. I did pick up some masks from them, I think, but I can't put it on. But anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. I totally lost my train of thought. Um, I was talking about my weapons. How I have a really good stealth weapon, but I don't have a good weapon to use once I'm spotted. Oh, neat. Look at this. Now that button doesn't seem to do anything. Thought maybe that would be an elevator that would take me up or something, but... Does not appear to be... operating. Uh, I need to get up here somehow. Okay, we're going this direction here. I need to get up even higher. Yeah, we can get up here. We'll be all right. This is good. Go around this way. Well, at least I thought I was going to. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm surprised I made that jump. That's cool looking. Pretty rough terrain around here. Kind of hard to get around. That is really neat. Suddenly I hear somebody walking around.
Not really interested in sticking around here and exploring this thing. I explored it pretty thoroughly in my previous playthrough. Claimed the workbench, did all that stuff. I don't know if I remember this place, though. Terminal here. I don't know if I remember this. Ooh, hacker. Oh, it's not the password. Albeit, uh, no likenesses. Still no likenesses. Forces, it's not gonna be forces, it's not gonna be greats. It's not gonna be access. Um, could be potion. Okay, this just opens the door. Okay. Oh, hi. Might as well take this fusion core. Oh, my little dude's hungry. I need to eat some food. Oh, my. Anything that's going to spoil? Deathclaw steak. Eat that up before it goes to waste. Glowing meat. Nope. Glowing meat steak. Yeah, whatever. We'll eat these. And then we'll have ourselves some, uh, something to drink here. Okay. Uh, dumb old safe. 38 rounds. Dirty water. Let's see what's in the safe. It was a two, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, we went through the trouble of hacking into that terminal to get in here, so might as well see what's in here. Okay, well, there you have it. Little shack I don't think I've ever gone in before. Not the most exciting place in the world, but, uh, you know, it's always fun to see something new. Oh, hey. Bunch of liberators down here. Damn dirty liberators. <laughs> These guys will, will come at you, man. They will come at you. Cool looking equipment here. We, oh wow, you can see Charleston from here. That's kind of cool. The rusty pick is uh, right up there, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode right here. When we come back next time, we'll go ahead and walk towards the rusty pick. Check it out. I might even be at it right there. And um, see if we can't do uh, just a little bit of script exchange. See if we get a legendary weapon we're actually interested in. It's worth a shot. Thanks for joining me on this episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, and I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.